Hello everyone, are you ready for another adventure? It's me, Wokey, and I'm here the day before the actual stream starts to talk about some stuff going on in the, <laughs> in the Fake Grand Order 6th anniversary that's coming to NA. Yay! A full day ahead, that's right. <laughs> Blame my work for that. And some form of laziness. But anyway, that's gonna be today's video. Let's get into it. It's gonna, it's li literally the live stream is tomorrow. This is, I'm looking at the Japanese version of this, which I'll get into. There's going to be some changes, likely. But, uh, let's go over at least what we can expect from it. So, let's go. So, a special broadcast. This is all stuff that they got on the JP version that it's very likely that we get as well. This is a special broadcast retweet campaign present. Um, where everyone got this, as long as you cleared Fuyuki before August 2nd. And this was all from the retweets. Uh, 12 times 6 equals 72 retweets and 84 from challenges. That's uh, 156 St. Quartz. There were 10 great uh, campaigns that were along with it. A login bonus, which was a consecutive login bonus and a cumulative login bonus. One golden vote of each kind. On one on the first day, one on the second day. Uh, um, visionary Flames on the third day. One rare man of prism on the fourth day, on the fifth day, a holy grail. And the consecutive login bonuses, it's a bunch of stuff, and then you get to 10 million QP, 100k uh, friend points, 10 experience cards, aka the embers, 100 mana prisms, uh, 10 uh, foes of both kinds, the one that gains up attack and one that gains up HP. And finally, 10 tickets on the seventh day, and all the while, one golden apple every single day. So, simple. That's number one. Six, this is obvious. Sixth anniversary Lucky Bag Summoning Campaign. I did a video, if you want to see it, over there, where I talk more about it and which one I'll be going for. Personally, going for Arjuna Altar. Hopefully, I get Arjuna, or I get a NP2 comma, or I get one of the other two units. Honestly, I, I, it's all hits for me on that one. Next, the daily paid St. Quartz. This is something we don't have, and we're probably getting, we're going to be getting here. A, a new single summoning option using one paid St. Quartz per day will be available. Again, it's only paid. Story summon is not included. You can only use the option only once per day for each limited summoning campaign, and it resets on, I guess, re, um on the new day, whenever it's there. This option does not count towards bonus summoning for every 10 summons. It's something you just, it's literally, do you just want to summon for a single quartz and it's paid? Summon on it. There you go. Uh, now this is funny. The Serpent Coin system, which we already have. <laughs> so, we're not getting this <laughs> if we already have it. Uh, I think it's likely that we get something different on here. If it's not anything different, that'd be kind of a bummer, but I'd understand it. Um, the thing that seems that would most likely be put forward is the things that have... Not the most recent thing that released, but stuff like the, the Buster Chain stuff that they added. That would likely be coming here. That's an assumption, and again, I'm not predicting anything. I actually don't know what's being announced. I'll know when, the same time you guys learn it. Um... But I would hope that they would have something for the fact that they moved up Servant Coin. That means that for Anniversary, they just means that something else will get moved over, and that's much better. But hey, we'll see. We'll learn tomorrow, huh? Hey, new Emperor gathering it into the Treasure Vault quests. We already have that. <laughs> They're probably going to have to find two new for these, because we already have both of these. So... They'll have to change that. Storage and KOV limited expansions. Thankfully, this we haven't gotten yet. So we'll just get some 50 slots, 100 slots, 100 slots. I think this changed the QP we already got. And the second archive servants, the second archive this. If we haven't gotten the QP update, then uh, we get it here. But I could have swore it already happened. But I'm not 100% sure because I've never reached the maximum amount of QP that you can have. I've never lived that lifestyle. Finally, extra missions. The new extra missions, which are Clear Lost Belt, number 5, Olympus, Clear High Kyo, Clear 150 Strengthening Quest, Clear 160 up until I think it's 200, Clear 230 Interludes, Clear 240 Interludes, Clear 210 Main Records Free Quest, and Clear 220 uh, Main Record Free Quests. And that all of that is 10 quarts, so in total it is 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80. 90, 100, 110, 120. And then daily 6th anniversary missions. Simple. There you go. You can get 20 mana... Uh, 
60 mana prisms just for doing stuff. And next, interlude clear St. Quartz rewards times 2. This is where we'll get a vast majority of St. Quartz. St. Quartz rewards for clearing interludes have been doubled up to 138 and can be received from clearing all interludes. So, depending on... Some interludes actually don't get St. Quartz in them, which is funny to hear. So those will be getting St. Quartz for the first time. But at maximum of 138, um, St. Quartz for this is pretty nice. And then next... Um, this is a 1 half AP for Ember Farming and great and super success rate, which great, that will be added. So yeah, from these, the thing that is most likely they're going to have to give us something new is these two right here. Otherwise, the others fit perfectly with the anniversary and that's not a problem. But those are the 10 great campaigns and that's what they use to celebrate on the JP side. Who knows, maybe because we got those early, they could make it to the 8 great campaigns instead. We'll find out. Can't wait to see tomorrow. There's also going to be other campaigns. Like I've mentioned before, and I've done a video before, there will be a special summon. In this one, you can get um, one of the... It's a special summon that all players who have played Fuyuki will obtain one SSR and have a pool of 32 free of charge with no strings attached. So you just be able to get one of these. It's basically any of them that are non-limited and or story locked. So if they're limited, you can't get them at all. And as you can see here, we have Altera, we have Artoria, we have Mordred, uh, we have Arjuna, we have Orion, we have Napoleon, we have Tesla, who has a huge fan base. All will tell you how amazing he is if you get it wrong and you don't remember. Artoria, Pendragon, Lancer, <laughs> Kidu, Karna, Bradamante, Achilles, Europa, Ozymandias, Quetz, Maeve, uh, Drake, uh, Anastasia, Songzong, Sherazade, uh, Waver, Tamamo, Osaka Bahime, Jack, uh, Li Shu Wen, Vlad, Ku Colin, Alter, Zon Yu, Nightingale, Zhang, uh, Stonia, and the Mysterious Elephant, aka Janako. Uh, you can just pick whatever one you want. If you're someone who's like, hey, what's just the best one? I'm uh, a slave to the meta and I care for none of these characters, then you can probably pick up Waver. You know, or if you already have Castoria, if you don't have Castoria and you have a lot of good arts units, Tamamo. If you don't have, if you already have Waver and you already have Tamamo, pick whoever you want. Uh, the best in all these classes. I've done a video on this beforehand, but like I said beforehand, I got some information wrong. So the best ones I would say are probably. <laughs> Uh, Saber over here. Tesla's the best archer <laughs> for Lancer. It's probably in, in kit. Uh, it's probably a toss up actually, depending on what you want more of. If you're looking more for an AOE servant, then anyone but Inkidu will do you, but Inkidu is pretty strong, solid mud guy. For Ryder, it's obviously Quetz. I will have no other qu questions about this. She's the best girl in general, so she's there. For uh, Caster, it's Waver or Tamamo if you already have a heavy hearts, uh, hearts, arts focused type of team and you want to go for her. Uh, for Assassins, it's probably Lucia Win or Jack. Probably one of them. I'm not 100% sure on this one, so I'm not going to say anything more. These are all uh, my personal opinion and is not actually based on real metagame data <laughs> of any kind. For Berserkers, it's probably between Vlad and Kukalan over here in the altar form. Uh, and these, you don't need me to tell you anything because they're literally the only ones you can pick. But again, I say pick whoever the hell you want and be happy with that servant. I'll be probably picking up Quetz so I can have her MP3. Uh, Koyaski of Light Trial Quest where you can get a single summon ticket and actually try her out for yourself. Pretty nice. Some servant strengthenings are coming. Uh, featuring, uh, oh, spoilers if you care about this, but Lily's getting one, Sniper Lily's getting one, and Wolfgang is getting one, Ozymandias, Matahari, the twins, not, they're not twins, Anna Bonnie and Mary Reed, <laughs> they're just two girls that hang out with each other, Hassan of the Cursed Arm, Cersei, Leonidas, Kukalan Alter, Kukalan, uh, Prototype, uh, Jalter, um, Mephistopheles, uh, Erish Goggle, and Drake. There you go, in that order. Enjoy it yourself. Da Vinci's Workshop will have a limited, as always, so you can get some free 10 summon tickets. Hell yeah. 
and some other good stuff. It's a, this is literally in every single every time there's a celebration, this always gets happens in the Da Vinci Workshop. And then I'm not sure if this is 100% true because uh, we might already have these new full screen Noble Phantasms. They were likely already implemented and we'll probably get some other dudes that will get them. But if they're not implemented, then they'll be added here. And then apparently there's a summon screen update, which we are already... No, we haven't gotten this yet. So we'll get this. <laughs> we haven't gotten that yet. I looked at it, it's like, I don't remember seeing anything like that. So we'll get that. Um, yeah, this is the lucky bag. The pre-release campaign should already have a lot of this. Uh, Sherlock Holmes should be up right now, and he will disappear soon. Memorial Quest, the CE's Exchange, all that is happening right now. Now let's get to the the woman of the hour, the woman of the power, Koyaski of Light. Koyaski, a.k.a. Vich, uh, which is what I mostly call her, and that's always what I will end up probably calling her. But my brother keeps calling her by her proper name, so I will probably eventually start calling her by her proper name. She's going to be on this banner, she's the obvious unit, and all these other units that are featured here are cool if you're looking for these specific units, but none of them compare to her, so let's actually go over her and see how good she is. For the record, I don't think you need me to tell you how good this unit is, but I will gladly tell you how good this unit is. So this is Kainosuke of Light, she is an ass- I'm also saying that so wrong, I think. Assassin, two quick, one arts, two buster. Uh, her active skills are Innovator Bunny A. Charges 1 allies NP gauge, reduces their skill cooldown by 2, deals 1000 damage without killing to the party, and the MP charge is 50%. Second skill, Aptitude for Slaughter Man A, increases 1 ally's damage against the human enemy for 3 turns, increases their damage against enemies with the man attribute for 3 turns, grants them on attack activation buff for 3 turns, charges their NP gauge when normal attacking with buster cards, gain crit stars. And the damage against uh, humans is 50%, 50%, and for man, for human. The NP per hit with a buster card is 10%, and the star up is 20. And... Third skill, NFF Special A. Increases one ally's buster performance for three turns, increases their critical damage with buster cards for three turns, and increases their crit star absorption with buster cards for three turns. 50%, 50%, 5,000% buster absorption. Cooldown of 6. The second skill is a cooldown of 6. And the first skill is a uh, cooldown of 8. And the only reason I bring up cooldowns, and it's specifically when it comes to buster units, is because this unit exists. <laughs> Passive skills, writing B, independent action, EX, independent manifestation, C. Shapeshift, A, goddess metamorphosis, guns, B. That's a hilarious name, it, just for increasing MP damage by 20%. Her pen skill is a um, increase against archer enemies. Noble Phantasm is 2 slot 7 drive spiritual garment of the profound brilliance type 79 misfortune fulfiller grand shrine. It is an 8 hit buster AoE, which increases your own attack by 20% for one turn, deals damage to all enemies, reduces their MP gauge by one tick. And it's AoE, 300% and MP1, and if you get it all the way to MP5, it's 500%, and then charges party's MP gauge, 10% of charge level 1, and if you get it all the way to the funnel charge, it is 30%. This is Kalinoska of Light, aka Vich. How good is this unit? Uh, she's fucking insane. It's <laughs> She's really good. They found a way to make a buster support that's better than Merlin, that does basically everything Merlin does, but it's not 100% a replacement for Merlin, because Merlin is still good on defense. As you can see here, she doesn't offer you any defense, so if you're someone who's using a buster type of unit and you want to still kind of go defensive, Merlin will still be your guy for that. But if you're someone who all you care about is pure raw damage or grinding, She's definitely going to be your person. And I, I say she doesn't really have much for defensive skills, but she does have reduces their MP gauge by one tick, which is nice. She's also different from every other support unit in that she can actually do it herself if you want her to. Um, which really kind of brings into the idea of like team building, which is kind of nice. Because a lot, again, a lot of the time what suffers most for busters is their inability to really... Um, Mm, the the MP problem. It's it's a big issue. And even this, if I say well, everything she does, you still need to 
um, have the right setup and the right stuff to kind of grind with certain buster units. But she actually makes it possible. As with Merlin, it was never possible. I don't, I don't think so. Not without like some of the greatest. <laughs> I think you needed like Merlin, a kaleidoscope or something with a starting close to a kaleidoscope, like either a hundred percent or seventy five percent, like a um, the one that has. I always forget the name of that one, but it's it's the seventy five percent MP charger, um, double Merlin, and then a waiver in the back, and then I think you would be able to get an easy three term farm with that. But that's a lot. You don't really need that with uh, with Vich over here. You kind of have your unit in a sung single solid thing. And if you're ever fighting against an enemy that's literally like... and like, gets hurt by assassins, you can use her as the actual unit. Because she can easily do it, I think. Um, and in that case, you could run Merlin with her. And then <laughs> you got a support that gets to 150%. And then there's another thing that Oberon is also eventually going to be coming out, and he's a a support unit that's really good for the last volley, um, and he works very well with Koyanasuka over here. So, really good, a really good-ass unit. If you were going to say, how good is this unit, I would say, uh, fucking good, and she looks like this. What more could you possibly ask for a unit? I would still probably say, in terms of who is a better unit, I pers as a personal thing, I'd probably still prefer, uh, prefer Castoria. Um, but this actually makes her possible and fun to run a Buster team. Like, it's crazy to think about, like, oh yeah, I can't wait to run Buster again. If you remember the Buster meta from back in the day, I was so done with everything Buster related <laughs> by the end of it. It was a non stop it was terrible. It was maybe terrible is a harsh word looking back at, but I was never a big fan of the Buster meta, and it might have been because I never thought Merlin made things complicated for no reason because it made it so that, hey, either you were running Buster or now you're dealing with these teams that were specifically built with the idea like, hey, we need to build it this way because Merlin ruined things. And then I would fight them and I didn't have Merlin, so I would just go, oh, and I would use the one friend Merlin and he would attempt to carry me through there. I don't see that happening in the foreseeable future. That's also why I have a Bonten uh, Arash, actually. Because <laughs> I didn't have... That's how I actually did it back in the day, is that I would blow up Arash turn 1 and then with a um, NP Charger on turn 2, I'd be able to figure it out with Waver and Merlin combined. Uh, would be an win with the Mystic... Man, it was a lot. I'm suddenly getting all the memories back of what I was doing back in the day. It was crazy. But either way, I think she's a fun unit. She looks a lot of fun. I can't wait to kind of mess around with these skills, assuming I actually get her. Because <laughs> uh, we have to film that summon video, which should be coming up pretty soon. So, that's it. That's everything that's looking to come from the anniversary as we can look at the JP version of it. A um, lot of cool stuff coming up. Can't wait for it. And like I said, there's a lot of... Again, there's Oberon coming up in the future. There's technically Nerofest coming as well. But there's a lot of other banners coming out. So... Um, good luck to you, man. I can't answer... I can't really answer the question of like, Hey, should I, if, should I go... If I fail to get Tamamo Vich, should I stop and just save for Oberon? I can't really answer that for you. I'm not doing that. <laughs> It's either, if I get Vich, I get Vich, and if I don't get Vich, then I guess I don't have anything to summon for Oberon. <laughs> That's the end of it. And if I don't have anything for him, then uh, I'll be saving for Summer. And yep, that's the end of the video, everyone. I wish you guys the best of luck. Uh, the video will be out tomorrow. There will be a summon video where me and my brother will record it. Uh, boy, do you have anything ready for Vich? Yep. He does. He'll be there. Any thoughts for you about Vich Boy before I end the video? So go ahead, tell the people how to say her name. Koyanskaya. Go up to the mic and say Koyanskaya. You just said it. Say it to the... To the... Koyanskaya. Alright, that's how you say her name. Apologies, people of Russia. Till next time, everyone. Have a good day, have a good night, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.